Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3 Normal Mode. So, in the last episode, we got all the way up to the Urgast, finally finished off this ram, and we saw our Ice Queen. However, we have to kill the Alpha Yeti first. So, looking at our mini-map here, here's our portal right over here. And what you're looking for is this big square right here. Cool, so this is where we're trying to go. So it's just wet east and a little bit west. So we want to go uh, like this way. Oh man, there we go. All right. So we're going to go up and glide. All right. So yeah, guys, we want to beat, defeat the Alpha Yetis. We're going to need a lot of their fur. Their fur is what gives us more progression after we finally get once boron is done we're basically ready all the way up to this yeti fur i believe i could be wrong but we shall see so we're coming up on it we went a little bit high looks like there it is all right so bloop come on and emergency hover mode activated Hover off. So you want to basically just kill all these yetis. And once you hit the middle, it's not really a maze. Just once you hit the middle here, these guys pick you up as well. But yeah, we can just pick them off. Looks like one at a time type thing. Alright, cool. Do I place... This is packed ice. We might want to get some silk touch here and actually get this. It's going to help us to make thermopiles in the, in the future here. Right there is the spawner for the Yeti. <laughs> oh, I'm getting picked up. Ah! That scared me a little bit. I don't know if you guys saw my mouse twitch, but definitely scared me for no reason whatsoever. Oh, Lord. All right. So we are just going to pick up some of this Alpha Yeti fur and some more of these alpha yetis i'm just gonna spawn this guy in here and there he is all right wonder if i could just hit him fast enough yeah i think i can all right cool 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 Jeez, oh Pete. Why is this lagging so much? Dang. Alright. Well, that was kind of cool. Hey, that's Prosperity Order. We'll take that. Alright, guys. It is dark in here, but that is okay. More Alpha Yeti fur. More fur. Bloop. Grab some more fur. Sweet. Yeah, so we just want as much of this as we can get. I think we're going to need like 51 of it, but we'll take as much as we can. We can always come back here and things like that, but yeah, guys. All right. So we did beat the Yetis. So now should be able to get over to the princess here. So we're just going to go out here. And boom, to the Aurora Palace. So we are supposed to walk all the way up here and to these penguins. But of course, we will just break in if we can. Aurora Block. Dang, how far is this? I'm going to laugh. Oh, yay. Hey, we found it. All right. Well, I guess we're fighting the Snow Queen already. So that's kind of cool. Where did she go? Right. 
There's the Snow Queen. Yeah, she just shoots really... Let's go into hover mode here. And we'll just start getting it. Alright. I think we're good. We don't seem to be taking too much damage. So that's good. We also don't seem to be doing that much damage. She's supposed to be the boss of the Twilight Forest, I believe. Or maybe they added more since the last time I played. I haven't played the Twilight Forest in, in over a year, I want to say. But it looks like her little like ice blocks are protecting her. I'm not exactly sure how to get around that. But it looks like going above her doesn't... Just seems to be doing enough, I guess. So, yeah, I think we'll beat her. And this might be it right here. Good. There we go. We got it. Did we get the trophy? That's all that really matters. Trash can, trash can. Don't need that. All right. We're looking good. She got us a seeker bow, an ice bomb, and a snow queen trophy. All right. Well, we'll put that here. Um, this is, of course, the Naga Trophy that we're missing. But, yeah. Alright, so we have beat the last of the Twilight Forest. Awesome. So now, we get to decide what we want to do next. I'm going to beat the Naga one more time, just so we can have all the trophies. If you remember, we actually had to uh, turn in one of our trophies to get into the... Uh, what was it? The nightly that maze there. You know what I'm talking about. Come on. Yeah, yeah, this is easy. Easy. We just want the trophy. Give me the trophy. I want to beat you again. I've already done it once. Just give it to me a second time. There it is. And one more hit. She gives us the trophy. Boom. We got the trophy. Again, right? Yeah. Perfect. More Naga scales. That's always a good thing. But there's our trophy. Alright, guys. Uh, I'm going to go back to the base once I find it. There it is. Yeah. We're going to go back to base and we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, guys. We're back. So I think right now seems like a good idea to actually get started on our heart canisters. I was looking at it. We have tons of red hearts. We've gotten yellow hearts from a lot of the things in the Twilight Forest, so why not just start on this? Yeah, so a relic apple is not hard to make. We have apples. Okay, I don't have apples there. I have them here. Uh, all right, we don't have apples, but we can get apples because we do have the uh, thing. I believe that you can fit 10 in that amulet thing of each, which means we need 20 reds to make 10 of each of these. So I'm gonna go ahead, get us some apples. We need 20 apples. What am I doing? I'm just gonna get a full stack. Leave one, leave one. Okay, boom, that ain't it, there we go. And we're gonna go ahead and smelt this, leaving that 20 with us, we need that's right, we need the diamonds, huh? Okay, so should we make the diamond seeds? I think that answer is yes. Hmm, do we have enough diamond, or do we have enough seeds to make diamond seeds? Hmm. Interesting, okay, so we need 20 diamonds, no, 40 diamonds and 40 emeralds. I think... Let's see. Oh boy, this is a hard decision because we're either about to get into deep into diamond seeds. All right. I'm going to just do it. Diamond seed. Yeah, that's tier five. I knew that. We need diamonds. We need four of these. And the infusion crystals. Yep, we need those. We're going to need some prosperity shards. And we're also going to need the diamonds to make 
the infusion crystals. We'll just take all of these with us. We're going to need iron, I believe. A little bit of iron. And we have all the inferior we need downstairs. We're also going to need a single seed. All right, let's go ahead and do it, guys. Oh, come on here. No. What is happening? Offhand? Question mark? No. Needs to not be an empty hand. Needs to not be that as well. Needs to... Why can't I take this stuff out? There it is. Why am I left clicking it? That was weird. And, alright. So, first off, we need to get rid of this infusion crystal. It's dead. I know that there's a way to recharge that. I just don't really want to, so we're not gonna. Infusion crystal... One, two, three, four. It's going to make us Prudentium. One, two, three, four. We'll make four stacks of Prudentium here. And this should get us all of our Supremium that we need. Bam, boom, pow. All right, that also just wasted exactly one infusion crystal. But I think we're good. Oh, you know what I need to do, though? Before we waste that, we need to make the seed while we're going up, right? So we need to make the tier 1 crafting seed, which is the base. So we have base, tier 1, and now we're up to tier 2, okay? And now we take our Prudentium. Go like this. That was where it was supposed to be. There is our intermedium. Like that. Intermedium. We need to make the tier 3 crafting seed. Like so. And the rest of it we turn into superium. So. Oh, like this. And like that. Alright. Perfect. Make this. And, of course, we don't have enough. I knew it. We need more. All right. So, you guys know the drill. We're going to do that again, and we'll be right back. And there it is. So, here's our Tier 5 Diamond Seeds. We can go... There it is. Yeah, we'll collect that. I'll collect that. I'm proud of that. That's our second Tier 5 Seed. We also might need... Um, An emerald seed, actually, which kind of sucks. But, yeah, dang, that was 15 RK. Are all these things... Oh, so you actually get more RK for... I didn't know that. Cool. What else we have? Draconium, refined... Yeah, enderium, iridium. We need enderium seeds. We need these alloy seeds as well. Okay, well, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and 10, 10, 10 these in this little amount of area that we have. And... We'll be right back. All right, guys. So we 10, 10, 10 our diamond seeds. And you can see just how many diamonds I get. What I do is while I'm 10, 10, 10 them, I basically, so let's say it's all the way up to here. I'll just will do these three right here. And I'll just mine them while I'm going. And I'll start collecting them. They'll grow. Once this one clicks, I move down one. And I just keep collecting essence while I'm doing that. And by the time I 10, 10, 10 a seed, I no longer need the seed, basically. So, yeah, that's how we're doing it. So we have a bunch of diamonds, so I guess we'll just toss them in here. All right, K in there. We got crop sticks. That goes over there. All right. So, we got a diamond. We need 40 diamonds. There's 40. Good. We need emerald. How much emerald do we have? Hopefully enough. Yep, we have enough. Not exactly, but we'll take it, huh? Uh, apples? Do we have apples? We need... How many apples did we need? 20, right? 20 apples. 
And that should make 20 of these relic apples. So there we go. We got 20 relic apples. Uh, we should need wither bones. I'm going to make these. Okay. So that's four per canister. We're going to need 20 canisters. So that's 80 iron. 64 plus 36 should give us a. No, that's 80. We're going to need 64 plus 16. That's 80. Okay. And bone. Do we have bone over here? I believe it's over there. All right, cool. We got bone over here. And we need 20 bones. So there we go. Let's get our canisters. Whoops. There we go. There's canisters and these wither bones. We should have the wither bones. Okay, we only have it over there. I'm going to go check the mob farm and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, so we had 42 wither bones, which I think should be enough. So, yeah, we need 20 of these, so then we just need our red hearts. And where did I put the hearts at? There it is. There's all the hearts that we should need. So, we should be able to make 20 of them. Yep. Perfect. And then how do... Okay, so we need golden apples. I need 10 gold apples. Which means that we need 6 gold apples. Which means that we need 6 times 8 is going to be 48. Of course, there you go. And 6 more apples apples, right? So apple six of these okay bam boom pow bop all right so if we uh claim claim on that then we should get our heart amulet oops let me get this back out here we're gonna have to shift it in and we got 10 10. now watch how many hearts we get so this is 10. yellow is that's 20 hearts right or is there an orange i don't remember i think it goes red yellow green blue purple as far as i know yeah but yeah guys so we have a full 20 extra hearts so that's awesome we have some rak from that and some more with events okay so now let's go back. We did this. Do we want to go to Lost City? To get to Lost City, all you need is six skeleton gold. Okay. We need a bed. How do we make the lava crystals? Okay, I think we have the lava crystals. Okay, maybe we don't. Hopefully we do. I could have sworn we got lava crystals from somewhere. We got them from the end. Right, because we needed them for Iota. Or did we not need them for Iota? Am I thinking of something else? We need them for the high-tech workbench. We haven't gotten to the high-tech workbench yet. Hmm. Okay, could have sworn we had them somewhere. Crystal? Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we don't have those. So we will have to go find some. What do I need it for again? Oh, we need to get to this. Or I could go to the deep dark, which is just compressed cobblestone. And we could try that out. I don't know how well that'll work. But I guess we'll try it. That way we don't have to. What, is, what the heck? Anybody else see that? Compressed cobblestone. Come, come on. Okay, deep dark, deep dark portal. There it is. Ah, okay. So we will go ahead and claim reward on that. That's just gonna make us go all the way back. Sent portal to the void, huh? What is that for? Now the deep dark, I've been here before. I do not like it very much. 
So we will put everything away for a second because we're probably going to need it. I don't need this slime sling. It's just like a mining dimension that everything goes wrong in. So uh, definitely don't need the hang glider. And I'm going to take the jetpack just in case. Basically, it's just dark in there. Which kind of makes me want to get night vision. How do we get night vision? No, not that, not that. Mending, flame, infinity, soulbound, holding. Night vision is stardust. Dang. Hmm. Can we make night vision potions? Or should we get into... Golden Carrot, an Awkward Potion. We know how to do that. That's actually not that far off. How do I make the Brewing Stand? Cobblestone and Blaze Rod. Do we even have any more Blaze Rods? I think we... Um... Let's see here. I'm not sure, guys. Alright. Well, we're going to figure this out, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so I decided. We're just gonna do it. So. Uh, I've already been here. I went here a couple seconds ago and I just dug down. So you'll see that. We just dug down. And place torch. You never want to be in the darkness here. If you are, you're kind of in trouble. Um, it doesn't really spawn anything super bad. But... We are going to want to get this jetpack on. And maybe get our hang glider. Did I put that somewhere? Hmm, do I want to go down here without the hang glider? Yeah, I will. So, we see a little cave. We want to torch it up, like, immediately. Let me take this off. Look at that. Boron, guys. <laughs> Perfect. We got boron. Do we get any more? That's star metal ore. That's actually really good. This is titanium. Okay. Aquamarine. We're going to need that. I don't like these sounds. Alright. Let's just go ahead and mine this aquamarine. Without dying, hopefully. That would be nice. Alright. What are you? I don't know what that is, but it's really big and kind of scary, and I don't really like it a lot. Okay. Well, we're just going to mine this as fast as possible and get out as fast as possible. We also need some of this lithium, I believe. I think we can get lithium other ways, but we might as well get it while we're here. So, uh, yeah, guys, this is the deep dark. It's not a very cool place, but uh, it does have everything that we need. So, we are just going to, well, let's explore just a little bit more aluminum. We might need that. It has all these ores that you need in it and some other things. Certus quartz ore. Aluminum. Platinum. Place a torch so we can see things. What is this? More lithium. We already have been mining this stuff. Magnesium's good. 
We'll need the magnesium. We're going to need to light our way up and around. More sapphire is always good. I guess we're going into this tunnel. Don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but I'm going to go in this tunnel. All right, guys. We're just going to go ahead and find a bunch more of this random stuff. And we'll see you in the overworld. All right, guys. So we're headed back right now. I'll show you what we grabbed. We just grabbed, honestly, the boron. Oh, cool. We spawn up here. The boron just spawns, like, kind of everywhere. There was a cave down there. We just kind of took it over. Um, I found this industrial grade graphite dust. It looked like that. I don't know what it's for. Like at all. It doesn't say it does anything. So we don't really know. I did keep it just because I'm curious. But found a piece of uranium. Some sapphire. About a stack and eight of boron magnesium. Don't know why I got my that. But we got some star metal ore. Silicone. Iron. More quartz. Some thorium. Aquamarine. Lithium. And some monsters. The prosperity shards I started to mine. But I figured I would stop because... Um, we're going to get looting on our sword or on our pickaxe later, and then we'll be able to mine more. So, this boron is what we're after right now, though. So, how do we take boron and get more than one ingot out of it? That's what I want to know. Flux anodizer. Nah. There's an easier way. This one gives me three with sand in an induction smelter, which we should have. Or I can get two. Uh, let's see, how do we make this? Nickel. Honestly, let's see if I have any signal, but this one might be worth it. All right, one, two, three, four. We're going to need some nickel. Two nickel. And bloop. Nickel needs to go in the compactor. Good. We need to make a signalum plate. Yes. So let's make sure we know what we're making here. We're making this. We're going to need a redstone conductance coil. That's electrum. Do we have the electrum? We do. We have one electrum. Well, we have more, but we need one. So we'll take one and two of them. Boom, boom. That. All right. And then what we'll pyrothium? Pyrothium. We got one. Perfect. All right. We got two nickel plates. I'm taking this jetpack off. We have creative flight here. We don't need it. All right. Let's do that. We can take it to here. I'll take these out of my thing there. And I need some sand. Boom. Let's grab some sand. And I think that's all we need, right? Oh. Oh, wait. What? Oh, we need a blazing pyrothium. So we actually need to... Hmm. Okay. I think I know what we're going to do. Okay, so if I take this... Once it gets mine... Sweet. If I take that, and I take my magma crucible, and I'm going to switch the two, and then we can melt down that blazing pyrothium and make it output on that side make this uh an input can i unlock this i want to get this as an input but let's go ahead and get some blazing pyrothium uh Pyrothium. What happened to it? Oh, pyrothium dust. That's what it's called. All right. We should be able to melt this down. Where'd this go? Good. Yeah, it just goes right into it. Okay. Sweet. So should I just put the rest of it in there? Probably. Heck yeah. So that's all we need right now, though. So let's go ahead and get all of our Black Quartz armor. 
and go like so. So we go leggings, helmet, boots, and there. Okay. So quest complete on this should be. There it is. The next one is Osmium. So I'm going to go ahead and we need Osmium, Redstone. We have this. Uh, okay. These are all our crystals, Obsidian, Diamond, Emerald, Platinum, Crystal, Crystal. All right. I'm going to get all the materials for this and we're going to finish this entire quest line today. So sit tight, guys. All right, guys. So we are back. We had to make the Emerald Seeds because we were running out of Emeralds. We need 48 of them. But I think that we finally have everything. So we're just going to do this real quick. One, two. Like that. Leggings. Helmet. Boots. And there's Osmium. There we go. Uh, the redstone one. Like so. Uh, okay. Leggings. Helmet. Yeah, this is redstone blocks. It is kind of expensive, but we have redstone seeds, so it's pretty cheap for us. And yeah, uh, I'm just going to keep going down the line. We will stop when we're at Emirati, guys. And there we go. So we finished it all. Go ahead and claim our rewards. 60 RAK, and there is the armor, guys. So, I hope that you enjoyed. We finished the first tab. We also finished with Twilight Forest. We went to the deep dark today. And, yeah, guys. So, if you like this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how I'm doing. Uh, your comments really do mean a lot. So, yeah. We'll see you next time, guys. Oh, yeah.